Please what? That beyond the door and into the hall. This was the house of no one at all. No one who breathed, nor laughed, nor ate. Looks down there. Holy crap. But what I saw came from over here. I visited one of my favorite locations, where in this beauty lies many untold stories, and yet I return to have a story of my own, hopefully one that I can share with you. Welcome to the Castle of Death. What's up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. Today I am back at the Castle Mausoleum. Now again, I've been here before, but I've only been here once by myself before. This will be the second time I'll be here by myself. And hopefully I get to actually see something creepy on camera. If I'm lucky, we hear creepy noises. I'm a little bit nervous on this one because there is literally nobody out here. If you look, look at this. This is literally it. That's my car there. And there is nobody out here whatsoever hello I'm looking for the maintenance area hello <laughs> nobody out here whatsoever okay that's a fire truck that freaked me out I heard like a weird noise coming from back there so anyway let's get into it enough of the talking and let's just explore this place let's go I get excited to come here because this place is literally like Hogwarts look at that Isn't that amazing? And then over here, you got all the cemeteries that go on and on and on and on over the mountains. The amount of detail that was put into the structure is amazing. And I guess they're still working on the second floor, which was at once open. This is actually the bottom floor here, which I'll be exploring tonight. Let's go upstairs here. These gothic staircases. Look at that. I feel like Assassin's Creed. Out to here. Just like stepping on the top of that. And this is all what I'm about to go into. In there. Creepy dark place. Now back here is actually pretty cool too. Because they have it all lined up. Mausoleum, mausoleum, mausoleum. So as you're driving down, you get to see this cool little garage of just mausoleums. And over there you can actually see the castle. Well that's a different castle. It's like a, I think they did a, um, they did something over there. I don't I don't actually quite remember, so I'm not gonna <laughs> give you guys what I know, but unless I know it. I don't wanna talk out of my butt here. Welcome to Hogwarts, Harry. So you're a wizard. Wow. Seems like they opened up the doors in there, but that main door is locked. Please be open. Yes. Four thirty. Wow. I remember taking the B roll here. Straight down. This is 
is awesome. Seems like we'll have this place to ourselves. Oh my god. I'll tell you why I said that. Look how dark it is. Now the doors are open. It says that this place is open. try to go ahead and go to the, the cathedral have a bit of a walk and I want to be taking you through a boring walking simulator so I'll fast forward when I get there Hello? Hello? I think somebody might be here. Hold on. I 
actually kind of caught me off guard. This is all new. See, this says keep out for here. <coughs> I think I could go here. This is all new here. And oh my god, they did an amazing job. I remember the last time I was here, they were still working on it. I'm gonna go this way, just to avoid whoever that is. But that legit sound like coughing. We were just over there, looking this way. And then you got this big tomb, which I don't think this is even being occupied. that's not a person, then this is good. If that's a person, then I have to be careful because I don't want to be disrespectful and record somebody. I'm going to turn the flashlight off on my camera only because that's somebody mourning someone. I don't want to be disrespectful and have them think I'm taking their picture or something inside of this place where they could be given that respect. So for now, let's turn this off. Probably going to be a little hard to see me. But that's just so I can make sure nobody's here because it legit sound like somebody crying. And uh I don't hear it that much anymore.
I am thinking of going up the spiral staircase and seeing if we can access the top floor. Oh, dang it. They still have it closed out. Of course they would. Alright, so I'm gonna check out the bottom floor and see if it looks down there. I just heard something that sounded like a door opening up and closing. But I don't know where. I don't know where that came from. Let's proceed with caution. Let's go check out downstairs. I took off my jacket, by the way. I'm now kind of underground. Now somebody told me that all this was body fluids leaking from another tomb. Hello? Just seeing if there's any workers or anybody here. Holy crap. <laughs> this is pretty, this is freaking creepy. It sounds like you can hear the sound of echoes of movement echoing around the building. And then the echo somehow travels down here. Which it's really creepy. Because you can't tell really. Oh, 
something here. Something moved. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Okay, so it sounds like there's somebody moving upstairs. I'm gonna go to the third floor after this and explore up there where I saw the shadow. from over here. It got really hot down here. I'm gonna head back upstairs to the third floor now um, and seeing what I can capture up there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be running into, but let's go up there together and find out. Um, down here is freaking creepy. This little basement area is terrifying and it's weird because I just got goosebumps right here. So let's go upstairs because I'm running out of time. Maybe I'll come back down here once I finish exploring up there. Not sure. Let's go. Now, I can't get up this third floor area, but over here there should be another area. It's actually starting to rain outside, which is kind of sucks because I parked my car all the way to the outside. Probably have to leave my stuff here and drive in. Alright, let me go. Let's check out upstairs and see. Oh, I just heard a noise up there. Looks like there's more light up there. So I guess they fixed the lighting here. This 
is where I saw the creepy shadow on my last video. What? I just heard music. Maybe there's like a card or a music doll or something that plays music here somewhere. Not sure where exactly I heard it, but you could hear it echoing. Unless it was coming from downstairs, but that's an organ. Not a piano. They both sound terribly different. Hey guys, so right now I have the spirit box with me. I'm here, I'm kind of been alone at the second floor. I'm, uh, the scene that you just saw, I'm right here against the window. Um, I'm gonna turn on the spirit box and have a spirit box session to see what else happens while we're doing this. So let's get right into it. Can you tell me your name? My name is Frank. Is it okay that I could record here? Can you tell me your name? Maria? Maria, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, is how many how many people are here besides me right now? Guys, I want you to see it's actually going. Just the speakers back here, okay? Um, I got chills. I'm sorry. Um, like there's four people here. Yeah. Also, what? This is creepy. I mean, this isn't creepy. This is just this. I'm freaking out because I'm alone up here, and I'm here, and I'm hearing things. Oh, I'm hearing people talking to this. This is actually pretty clear. I've only had a clear shot like this when I was in Miami. I'm making a video about this place. Can you can you can you give me the okay that I'm allowed to show this? What age are you? Three. Are you looking for someone? Please what? I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding. Can can you tell me what it is that I can help you with? Oh, that was weird. 
Was that you that I just heard? I have to go now. Is there people coming to me? I got a little bit of communication there, which was creepy, but a lot of it I couldn't really understand too much. But I'm gonna leave it to you guys to kind of let me know in the comments what you guys were hearing during that spirit box session. I know some of you guys like the spirit box, some don't, but I do it to please, you know, one side and the other side could probably Skip forward. I'm sorry, I just... I heard a lady talking over here. And I thought somebody was actually already up here. <clears throat> Which was weird. You see? Probably why I had to end the session. Yeah, so there's definitely people here. What's up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys liked what you saw. I did a little quick video in here. There's a lot of people that just walked in. I had this place to myself. It was peaceful, it was quiet. I wanted to do a more in-depth investigation, which things were getting good. But then I started hearing a whole bunch of noises, which I couldn't, you know, I couldn't figure out if it was someone or was it something different, you know? But uh, I, I couldn't really distinguish it. And in the middle of the spirit box, I hear a whole bunch of people walking in and almost went upstairs. And I don't want people to think I'm disrespecting anyone or people that might be uncomfortable with it either. So I was like, you know what, let me just put it away. I don't want to bother anyone. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like what you saw. Um, I want to come back here again, but I might wait a little bit more before I come back here because this place is amazing. You're literally inside of a castle. You also get this really eerie fe feeling that when you're by yourself, you feel like someone's watching you or someone's walking towards you. I got a lot of those feelings that time in this video where I'm recording and I feel like someone's like walking behind me or watching me or was gonna tell me something, but apparently not. Um, but there we go. I, I did a video. I hope it comes up to 30 minutes. I, I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. Um, I wasn't monitoring that too much, but I hope you guys like what you saw. Please like and subscribe, and if you can, hit that bell notification icon, so that way you guys can be updated on my next video. Um, I want to give a big thanks again to my Patreons because they are helping me out so much <clears throat> making this happen. I am now doing weekly private live streams for my Patreons, so I can actually get to everyone's messages a lot easier because, you know, it's not like, it's not so many people. It, it's a lot more cleaner, so I could uh, respond back. So if you guys are interested and wanted to join in and get involved, then please, by all means, jump in and have a cool time with us. That being said, thank you for watching Franco TV, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.